Today, today we are reviewing the barbershop arc. The Yorozuya are back on center stage, and Gin's about to get a haircut. Keywords about to. Before I get into the other two, let's focus on Gin and the unnamed barber here. I appreciate these two's relationship. Gin has gotten close enough to this guy that he calls him Pops, and it seems like that nickname stuck because now Kagura and Shimpachi are also calling him Pops. The two really do seem like old friends who've known each other for years. The barber exclaims that if they ever want to just come hang out and read some manga, they're free to do so because business has has unfortunately been slow. He continues his monologue where we learn a new hair salon opened up across the street, and they've been inadvertently stealing his customers. The barber isn't a fan of the way they do things, hanging his head in remembrance of how things used to be. A barber shop isn't just for cutting hair, it's a place for people to interact with one another. In the old days, you could go to a barber shop and learn everything there is to know about the town. People would gather to have fun. I care more about that than being fashionable and whatnot. Even in what is a very much solely comedic arc, Sorachi still manages to include some very heartfelt dialogue to flesh out a brand new character, which we only are going to see this one time. Anyway, Kagura realizes Volume 7 of Abusan is missing, and the barber cannot bear to have an incomplete collection, so he dashes off to buy the missing book, leaving our three goofballs we know and love in charge. I mentioned it in my reaction, but this situation really does seem to be a constant with these three. And I'm only just now realizing that the reason people always throw their businesses towards them and entrust them with their business, it's probably because they're odd jobs. They're literally the most successful odd jobs in Kabuki Cho. Have you ever heard of odd job Shinsuke? I don't think so. The rest of the episode was also handled excellently. Multiple times throughout the episode, I was dying. One such time was the multi-layer joke from Kondo, nervously pacing around the far too fancy for him hair salon until being called out by an employee as a stalker, destroying his already frail self-conscious, leading him into the barber shop across the street, where the Yorozuya were forced to disguise themselves as barbers and attempt to mimic the makeover he desperately desired. Eventually, Katsura arrived for a haircut, leading to even more chaos, as did Matsudaira and none other than the Shogun himself. Revealed here is the missing seventh volume, which, seeing how the barber didn't even know anyone borrowed it, I'm going to assume Matsudaira's borrowing was just him stealing it with a promise to return it, which he did, <laughs> which is totally in character for this terrible cop. <laughs> Speaking of him, the incompetent cop walked off to hit up a nearby hostess bar, leaving the Shogun in the Yorozuya's protection and care. Completing episode 1. Overall, awesome first half. This leads me to believe the next episode will be just as good, if not better. <laughs> it's really not... Nervously anticipating having to not screw up the Shogun's haircut, Shimpachi pukes. Oh, <sighs> okay, okay. Anyway, uh, in the background, Kagura steps up to the plates and is about to perform a haircutting masterpiece before... before puking, puking right onto the Shogun's back. <sighs> okay, okay, so this is where we're going with this episode. All right, all right. Turns out, Kagura had ramen earlier because there was a Naruto that landed on the Shogun's head, which they tried to take off, but it was too slimy and kept slipping. And eventually Gin, eventually Gin accidentally pushed that onto his eyes. Mm, okay, okay. They soon managed to scrape it off, but coming with it was his mage. Like, entirely. All gone. To replace this, Gin snipped Kondo's pubic hair, which began an infection on the Shogun's head. Oh, God. In search, in search for a better, a better replacement. Where, where else to look? But Katsura's hair, please. Please tell me you just use Katsura's hair. It, it can't be that hard, right? It can't be that hard.
hard. So, so yes, yeah, Skin, uh, Gin grabs, grabs Katsura's hair, but, but he doesn't put it on the Shogun's head. Why would he do that? Why would he, why, why, why would he do that? Uh, it's, it's just, it's just so ridiculous. It's, it's such a wild thought. Nope, nope, nope. Instead, instead, oh, uh, you know what happens? The, the, the Katsura, the Katsura's hair is then put onto Kondo's cock. And, and, and now it has a wig. That doesn't even make sense, Gin. There is, a, there is priority here and it is not, it is not that. Okay, we're almost done. Finally, nearing the end now, Kagura bursts in with, with literal fucking golden retriever shit and places it on his head. Holy shit, I, I think this is the worst episode of Gintama. If not the worst, it's definitely down there. It, it, it's like everything clever from the last episode was thrown out the window and replaced with funny equals random gross out humor. Oh god, this was bad. This episode was bad. If, if not for that first episode, which carried this arc like Atlas to Earth, I think, I think I would have considered dropping a two. But... Thanks to that wonderful first episode, I think I'm going to move it up to a 4, resulting in the lowest arc I have reviewed for the Gintama arc review series. Yeah, this the second episode was god awful. <laughs> this this wasn't it, Sorachi. This was not it. Uh, and not not to, not you know what I didn't mention either. The really really stupid, which I don't even know if this was in the manga, so I didn't include it, but the really stupid first I don't know minute or two of the episodes which have like an alternate universe just again unfunny anyway thank you so much for watching like it if you like to dislike it if you dislike it i love to hear your opinions in the comments so comment your opinions on this arc as well anyway i'm checking out for the night and i'll see you guys later peace